If you watched every video I published in Dragonflight Season 3, you would know I teased what you're about to watch no less than 10 times. And that is because this is what Mythic Plus Pugging is in my mind. When I think of one boiled down, distilled essence of Mythic Plus, I see what you're about to watch here. Let's get started with something a little lighter though before I show you guys the heavy hitting video that I've been saving all season. We have some other funny moments that I just want to tack on here just because people have sent them to me and they deserve to see the light of day. We, of course, are talking about the Razan encounter in Atal Dazar. You guys are no strangers to this now, but this, what you're going to see here today, are entirely unique situations that out of the dozens of videos I have been submitted, I have not seen any of these situations more than these one time that I've been submitted them. So we have Razan on an 18, this time tyrannical. It is getting handled. The fear is happening. The Death Knight seems to AMS or Lichborn, so he doesn't get feared. The Paladin does get feared, but not the end of the world. We have the Priest getting the first pursuit and they are completely unaware that it's on them so they're going to get feasted on we have another casting of the fear and this time everybody's going to try their best to get it other than the priest priest does not get anywhere close and they get feared again but it looks like they get dispelled by the healer pursuit again on the priest this is the person who just got instantly eaten before they've learned their lesson i mean there is some growth that happens on this encounter people do learn and improve that priest doing 41,000 dps is going to run the boss over here which is a very good idea then you won't get eaten by the dino and you will not die here we go again though another pursuit this is three pursuits on the shadow priest this guy's learned their lesson right like they are not going to get eaten guys under no circumstances are they going to get eaten even if that means dragging the fucking boss up the stairs and resetting it with 20 some percent health this is probably my favorite part of this the priest says oh reset i should have just died instead <laughs> but not even a problem after all those hijinks they end up killing resort no issues they are going to go ahead and kill yasma as well and get Get their upgraded 18. See, that's how easy low keys are. There's four deaths, three of them were the priest. Here's another extremely unique one, something I almost never see happen in Mythic Plus on my own, but we will see again happen here. You may be struggling to see it, but take a look at the mini map. All right, everybody is going down to Razan except one player. Paladin Healer is going to just stay up there and seemingly just run out of the dungeon. I guess this isn't that uncommon because, like, sometimes people switch talents right at the beginning of the dungeon because they just realized they had the wrong ones. But in a, the old Ultra unique world of Atal Dazar. Within 10 seconds of starting the dungeon, you're in combat with a boss. And guess what happens when you're in combat with a boss in terms of entering and leaving dungeons? So the healer's locked out of the dungeon, yes. And the tank is, he's got multiple reanimated raptors on him. And, uh, you know, he's not a blood decay, so he is going to go ahead and die. And then it's going to totally fall apart. This is because the healer ran out of the dungeon. And then, you know, because they pulled Razan, he cannot get back into the dungeon. He says, I zoned out and can't get back in. Honestly, at this point, I I mean, I'm not even really sure who to blame here. Like, it's kind of just a bizarre error, right? Like, obviously, you could say, like, oh, the tank pulled without the healer. Yes, but you walked out of the dungeon, like, the second it started, and then the first pull of the dungeon is Razan. So it's almost like, what, what did the pally think was going to happen? They think they were going to wait for him? You should have said something, right? Totally strange. Something I, I feel like I would never see all these months later. And then they fucking leave over it as well. Like, wow. 17 fortified. It's actually him who leaves over to it's just man that's just so super, super embarrassing to me let me know what you guys think about that one that one's very 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 unique it's almost like it just that's what pugging is in a nutshell right like just a bunch of people not paying attention not thinking more than a few seconds in advance obviously we've seen all manner of issues on this fight but let me show you guys now something that i've been teasing for so long now what i regard to be a true representation of what the razon encounter may offer for those uninitiated the footage unfortunately starts here we are six minutes into the footage and we have five deaths, which presumably means they might have wiped here already. I don't really know what would have happened up until this point, but you immediately see some hilarious things going on here. Started all the way over to include literal, like the second the recording starts, we have a guy eaten by Razan on a 13. And then you can look at the chat. The shaman says, I hate this boss. Literally always my issue boss. So the guy who's recording this, the uh, monk healer says, you just got to move away early after fear. Presumably talking about getting eaten. We have pursuit now on him he's gonna run the dangerous way unfortunately we're gonna pick up a ton of raptors this way but hey, obviously it's better than dying the hunter who's also now dead who that was the guy who got eaten the second the footage started he says run after the visage check like okay cool learning the fight for the first time sweet since we brought him over here now the tank is gonna choose to tank the boss um 
Um, 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 yeah, okay, where's he gonna choose? Okay, he's gonna tank him right here. Uh, I guess you could probably line aside here, right? Does this work? Uh, it does actually work, seemingly. I had not, I had no idea. But, of course, because we ran him over all these raptors, this dude's getting his ass kicked. I mean, I'm really shocked how much damage somebody's taking in a 13 here. But, yeah, he's gonna go ahead and go down. So, this is gonna be probably our first wipe, maybe our second wipe to this boss. Yeah, actually, the DBM thing says you have two total wipes on this difficulty. So, potentially, their second wipe on this fight. That makes a little bit more sense, because then the Demon Hunter whispers the healer who just tag teamed for one of the weirdest mistakes i've ever seen on the fight and then said not sure this is gonna work with these two guys i need you to remember that statement though because this will come back up at the end one more try yeah sure we can try again but if these two guys don't figure it out there's no way we're gonna kill the fight tanks just tanking him in the middle of nowhere and dying of raptors and all that yeah the other the issue is the dps for sure i mean that's the problem right because you can easily brute force these bosses so a lot of players don't fully understand what's actually going wrong but all right so we're doing the fight now we have the full team alive for the start of this the first fear goes out which is probably easy for everybody to understand like you just got a line of sight it's pretty easy because you see the visual cue but after that things start to get a little bit more complicated the pursuit is going out and this is an enhancement shaman so he's obviously wanting to be in melee range to continue doing that 27k dps number but he is going to go ahead and run and kind of runs the wrong direction again and running over here is always going to be bad the reason this baits people so much is because they try to like follow the edge but razan is not near the edge so he's going to take the shortest path right like if you think about it if you start over there and end up over here he's just gonna walk this way it's gonna he's gonna walk like five yards in a few seconds and he's gonna catch you you can't walk all the way around and expect this to work you have to run as far away from him as possible but for some reason people in these lower keys they just don't understand that so the shaman who was saying like this is literally always a problem for me i have no idea how to do the fight he's died a second time now the shaman then pipes up he says i was so far ahead and he still got me see what i mean like people just straight up not understanding what the mistake they made was that guy like he basically didn't put any distance on himself like he actually did not he, he basically stayed in melee range of on the whole time by his running so again we're taking him over to this side grabbing extra raptors putting ourselves in a terrible terrible spot this is a bad spot for multiple reasons because there's so many raptors over here but the main reason is is because it baits the tank into doing this yet again terrifying visage is out i mean this is just a disaster trying to line a sight in this area is such a bad idea and the tank is again going to die to the raptors first here it comes first fear going out everybody's line of sighting we got all five people stacked up monk is ready he's done he knows if it's on me i'm just gonna have some problems okay it's on the hunter he's doing the same thing the shaman did literally carbon copy of what the shaman did watch it again you can see the red eyes on the screen coming across your screen here instead of just running far away he basically just kind of runs in this circular motion like a radial motion and razan just literally turns around he's like ah. Finally, somebody taking it the correct direction. The Demon Hunter DPS. The funny thing is the Hunter's still commenting on what happened before. He says, all my speed was on CD. Now, obviously, I don't necessarily expect people to know this, but like as a Hunter, you can actually feign death that mechanic and it just stops. And this is really, really, really powerful. If you still don't know this, you missed it. It's overpowered, honestly, because it stops the boss from moving. So it keeps him in position for DPS. Tank is now going to be the one to get fixated. And here comes more problems. He's now got him over here and tanking him by this little like buttress here i don't really know what you would even call this like just a decorative angle in the architecture everybody else is going to try to use like the traditional architecture to line a site and they are miles away from it so here comes the fear now he is then going to duck behind that little angle there doesn't work as you can see the guy is feared uh i guess he's surprised as anybody and of course he is now going to be the one to get pursued it on probably recognizes his mistake because instead of running in the direction he was originally running he's going to run that direction then uh you you know he's getting his ass kicked by these raptors so he's like i need to do something to survive here so he's gonna turn around and use fell devastation while the pursuit is still going on and razan is gonna eat him punish him for that but he almost lives to look at his health it is so close the healer is trying his best to keep him up he's casting vivify on him but it's just not enough right at the last second he is going to die and that is yet another wipe on the fight now what's funny is the guy who's recording this almost ends the key he starts typing this out all right good stuff guys have but then he deletes it so i don't know like what was he just getting tilted by this point i honestly would not be surprised by that because like we're now 15 minutes into the dungeon we haven't killed one boss yet so instead of typing what he put he put, now put are we still doing this the tank who was talking about stopping before because he's blaming other people he says probably not probably not based on what <laughs> so everybody's kind of just standing here like posturing like what should we do like the players are down there ready to fight but the tank's like he's just kind of standing up here hoping that nobody else wants to do it he says 
says, lower it. Monk says, not my key, so I'm happy either way. They're kind of just running around in circles. The guy whose key it is is the shaman. He's the guy who started all this by saying he doesn't know how to do the fight. So he says, what happens if you don't get timer? Do you still get gear and just don't move up in keys? He then makes the absolute executive decision to say, do this boss later. The tank is, you know, to his credit, he is trying to stick it out. He says, I would rather just redo it, reset the timer. <laughs> the shaman says, this is my worst key, but always a key to do. Presumably meaning that like he keeps getting sent into it all. The shaman is like not aware of how to lower it, I guess. I'm not really sure what's actually happening right now. But the monk has said, are we resetting it or calling it? Then the hunter, who's not the key holder, says we're lowering it. <laughs> how long is the visage cast? He asks. Scary question on its own. The monk replies, it's on his cast bar. <laughs> he goes, all right, I'll try to check him out. <laughs> That's a good idea. You definitely want to do that. The demon hunter says, are we ready? And then the shaman says, summon. The guy says, we have to sit for 10 minutes. What? What? What is he talking about? He oh, yeah, he straight up doesn't know how to actually reset the dungeon. He probably went in and saw that there's 10 minutes left in the timer and think it's going to reset on its own. So the monk's trying to teach him how to reset the dungeon as well. All right, so they're back. Back in its hall. Here we go again. As you see in the top right, they're going to do it on 11 now. That's great. Here we go. They reset the dungeon. Wait, 11? What? In case you forgot, the last one was a 13. So the guy lowered in two levels. I mean, I really would love to have seen this from his perspective. I have no idea what he did. But basically, like, so did he go back to town and lower it? it po it's possible, and that's why he needed the summon. But I never really see him do that. We're sitting here now at Razan because they didn't come right here. And they did those stupid Sarids first. We're now sitting, like, literally just going to sit here and wait. All right, here we go. The nemesis has been re-engaged. This time, two keystone levels lower. We've already tanked him right on top of a raptor, but that's not a problem. We got the bloodlust spell activated. Running behind the corner. Accurate. I, I'm actually really impressed with how well they're handling the fear. Here comes the pursuit. It's on loot box again. This is the tank, and he's going to do the same dumb thing that everybody else has done on this fight. Run him this way through the middle of all the raptors. Edges him closer again, and now another raptor. So we got three raptors are going to be spawned right now. Again, like trying to line a sight on this ledge, which I... I I have never seen anybody do but as you see the tank uh does not line a sight accurately and he gets feared again he's running over around there he's got a bubble on him he's got four raptors chasing him four raptors chasing him here comes Razan again he's gonna get a fifth raptor spawn but he's also the one who's fixated we're gonna run up here and try to reset him oh but there's fucking trash up here so we're gonna aggro the sky screamer as well this is actually funny he's gonna like try to like brawl with the sky streamer long enough to just get Razan to reset which I don't really understand the purpose of but he does actually actually reset and then dies to the sky screamer 38 percent and in this 11 now after five pulls on razan the shaman says i did it right lol in that meanwhile everybody's running back down to razan and we're gonna see yet another like it's like a bingo card bro like just make a bingo card of every funny thing you can see on the way to razan or during razan and this is about to check off all of them watch what appears on the screen right now venom fang strike on pika shop that's the fucking stealth mob that we made a video on months ago he's gonna go ahead and die one one more time, one more time for death here. The tank is now commenting on what was said before. He says, I didn't. Skeletons having pursuit is rough trying to line a sight. It is crazy how many people can't realize, like, just don't take the boss this way. You see all this water? Guess what? There's no raptor bones in that water. So you could literally run from one side of the water to the next and no raptors will spawn. It's a pretty good strategy. The monk's taking over though. It's time. It's time to get this boss killed because you really got to watch the purple guys as well. The raptors are deadly. Follow the star. So it's time. He's going to put on big boy shoes. He's going to lead this group to success showing them how to do it doing it wrong again no worries night raven he this time he's this guy's sprinting take him through all the bones again no problem i mean it's fine chris pratt's gonna come out jurassic park part three here it is five raptors out the tank's struggling to get them off the demon hunter and the dps we're standing in this fucking bullshit area again trying to line a sight and guess what we actually get it done this time the shaman does not he's feared but i don't know if that's gonna be a problem no it's on night raven again Again. This hunter is, look at the main map, bro. He is so ready for this mechanic. If only somebody told him he could feign death it. Don't worry about the fact that he's doing 37k DPS and he's 60 yards away from the healer. I mean, I cannot get over how far away that guy is. I would love to see it from these guys' perspectives. I think he is so far away, he's not even attacking. But anyway, here comes the deer again. We're going to use this really strange spot to do it again. It does work. Dale Cooper, this guy, is not, he doesn't trust the tank and I don't blame him. He goes all the way over there and here we have the tank fixated again. He's running a pretty much right back through the stuff that almost killed him the previous three attempts hopefully now we can finally get him in a spot where it's going to be killable 
This time the fear goes out and the shaman again gets feared. He does not accurately get behind the thing, but this time he's also going to get the pursuit. You would think that this would be the wombo combo that would again result in a death, but to his credit, even though this is his hardest boss, he manages to get just far enough away with Ghost Wolf to not get eaten, which is outstanding. And this boss is going to go down after two key level depletions, six attempts at it, hanging him in like the craziest spots, like straight up did not know you could even tank him in these spots and line of sight it. We have killed Razan. I figured I'd show Yasma too. This is the fight that's supposed to be hard. Like this is the one that would be difficult on higher keys, but on low keys, you have stuff like this happening. Here comes the soul ran three, two, one, literally suicide run right into a spider. Here comes the ads. Here they are. Tank just drags the boss right into him and wipes everybody else. Watch it again. The soul ran's going out. Here we go. It's on the monk three, two, one, literally like just jumps into it. Like if he thought it was some kind of way to do the mechanic jumps right into one. We have people all around the room with the adds and the tank is just going to drag the boss into them like straight up takes them right into them some of them only got two stacks but yeah pretty much kills everybody else and then the dude's going to solo save it he's going to redeem himself he's going to show oh all that bizarre tanking all that weird stuff on razan was just a fluke here's what a real tank does oh look who else is up pikasham had so much trouble with razan he's here to redeem himself two three two one racking pain he's no longer here thanks for stopping by they are going to get the boss killed the solo save is going to come in clutch and then afterwards some more conversation is going to happen about Razan. the monk is whispering the tank saying honestly i was laughing so hard throughout that yeah so were we and i guess he knows dale cooper because he says dale was so angry at them too spelled t-w-o the tank then replies yeah it was rough they're guildies otherwise i would have been like nope if they weren't one good option when you're playing with friends is to teach them the fights <laughs> so they don't keep making the same mistakes over and over again but then again that was the tank who was talking so all bets are off on that. Anyway, April Fool's Day. I knew I needed to record this on this. As soon as I saw that it was April 1st and it was going to be a Monday, I knew we had to get this video out. This is one of the wildest moments of the season. And the conversation is going to get embroiled on what comes next for season four. What do players like this who are struggling in season three look like in season four with the changes? Honestly, I do not know. But what I can assure you is there's going to be wild, wild moments in the opening weeks where players who have not done full research are going into twos and wondering why why it's so difficult and why they're getting their ass kicked in there so if you guys are out there doing low keys especially on alts in those first few weeks please 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 i'm begging you record them send them in we're gonna have some absolute insane footage from the beginning of this season i could already tell hope you guys have enjoyed there will still be more season three stuff coming but this was the pinnacle this was the wildest key and then like actually yeah like the guy who's saying their guildies is the one trash talking them in the beginning is uh, ultra ironic atal has spit out some of the best moments of the entire expansion maybe of my entire career so i'm very grateful for that and grateful for all you guys sending stuff in thank you for watching we will see you guys in the next video